We begin in the United States, where the Colorado Supreme Court has removed former President Donald Trump from the state's 2024 ballot, ruling that he isn't an eligible presidential candidate because of the 14th Amendment's insurrectionist ban. The ruling was 4-3. The ruling will be placed on hold pending appeal until January 4, pending a certain appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court, which could settle the matter for the nation. The state Supreme Court's decision only applies to Colorado, but the historic ruling will affect the 2024 presidential campaign. Colorado election officials have said the matter needs to be settled by January 5, which is the statutory deadline to set the list of candidates for the GOP primary. Ratified after the Civil War, the 14th Amendment says officials who take an oath to support the Constitution are banned from future office if they, and I quote, engage in insurrection, end of quotes. But the wording is vague. It doesn't explicitly mention the presidency and has only been applied twice since 1999. Former President Trump in the news, uh, always in the news, but this time now, perhaps this could be quite instrumental or important for next year's election in the United States of America. I mean, so this is uh, instrumental, monumental, whatever tab we want to put at the back of it. But one thing has to be said, that uh, this is quite a very dicey one, because various groups in Colorado did bring forward this case against President Trump, saying that he engaged in insurrection. And we all know how he incited insurrection. Let's not deceive ourselves. Trump incited the last insurrection that happened in America, which was a slap on the face of America as a bastion of democracy. And America felt little that day. Many people have been rounded up from that episode. But a lower court recently ruled that indeed Trump incited insurrection. But the sticky phrase, like you said, in, in the 14th Amendment, was the fact that officer of the state, because he did not explicitly state that. So the matter of for determination when it goes to the Supreme Court in America will be that part of officer of the state, because that's what the lower court ruled. The lower court has accepted that Trump incited insurrection, but he said, as the 14th Amendment did say, if the person is an officer of you know, the state, in this regard, he didn't explicitly state the presidency. Most likely, when it goes to the Supreme Court, this will be overturned. One, because of the contentious issue. Two, because Trump was effective in packing the courts with conservatives while he was there. So he has a tilt in the balance, about 6-3 to his favor in the court. So definitely, that will also rule. Also, because it's going to be very rancorous when you look at the process of primaries that start next year, and Trump is well ahead, over 60% on the polls and all of that. And I can boldly say he's like the, can, can I call him the presumptive nominee already of the Republican Party? Yeah. Which, yes, might be far on and, uh, or might, might, might be far off. But the truth is, he has done so well in the polls as regards other candidates. And even if, worst case scenario, the Supreme Court upholds this, you know, Supreme Court of Colorado's judgments, it's not going to change anything, you know, because it will just be that, okay, Trump had a no-show in Colorado, but if you are still going to have the general spread delegate lists at the Republican Party convention next year, Trump is still going to go over the line needed for the number of delegates to become officially the presumptive nominee. The earlier phrase I said, he can only be declared the presumptive nominee and be ratified after the Republican Party convention. I was just saying because of the certainty of his polling numbers, but things can also change in politics. But obviously, I think the Supreme Court will read the room, they read the temperature of the nation, and they will reverse this in favor of Trump. All right. Okay, three months ago, six uh, Colorado voters went to court to invoke Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which says that any officer of the state who has been involved in insurrection or inciting insurrection would not be allowed to seek uh, office uh, in the land. And that's what they took to the court. And the arguments were taken uh, eventually on December 6. And now that, Supre uh, that Supreme Court in Colorado has ruled four to three. Three dissenting uh, 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 judges, and then four, the majority. And the majority are insisting that Section 3 of the 14th Amendment 
uh, applies. But the other three uh, justices say that they've never seen this kind of ruling before in the uh, uh, history of the courts in America. Now, it should also be noted that uh, Trump being accused of having incited insurrection at the Capitol, U.S. Capitol, on January 6, 2021, it should be noted that it's not only in Colorado that people have gone to court. At the Denver District Court, you know, uh, last, uh, earlier in the year, the Denver District Court in the Court of Justice Wallace ruled that, yes, she was convinced that uh, uh, Trump may have been involved in the insurrection, but had not enough ground to deny him uh, due process for taking part in the 2024 presidential uh, election. Now, in Michigan and Minnesota, similar suits were taken to the court, but, you know, the, the courts in Minnesota and Michigan disqualified, you know, the uh, petitions, the uh, cases. Now, what is special about Colorado? Colorado, incidentally, is a democratic state. And all seven judges were appointed by a democratic governor. So there may be, you know, some other thing to this that people can read to it uh, subtextually. Why is Colorado important? Colorado has 10 electoral college votes. So if the ruling stands, what it means is that uh, Donald Trump will not have access to, to those 10 electoral college votes. But Alina Haber, the counsel to uh, Donald Trump, has said that they will appeal swiftly and go to the US Supreme Court, where they believe that you know, justice will be uh, done in their favor. However, the thing to note is that Despite all of this, Donald Trump is the leading front runner, Republican front runner, is leading the next challenger by over 20 percent. But even more than that, in the general poll, in a survey that was done, I think, by CNBC, <coughs> it was uh, reported that Donald Trump is, in fact, leading President Biden 46 to 42. It used to be closer than that. It used to be 42 to 44. Now, he is leading by 46 in the polls to uh, President uh, Biden's uh, uh, rating. And, you know, the, the truth is that President Biden has lost the approval of most of the people who supported him and brought him to power for reasons of the economy. You know, complaints about uh, inflation, which seem to have affected his job approval rating, you know, with the U.S. electorate. But what will happen? where we may not be able to predict but that uh, President Biden, uh, 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 President Trump, will get the nomination of the Republican Party seems to be more or less a fair account play. In fact, he's now, his supporters are now using this to campaign. They are asking his fundraisers, I say, please uh, donate generously to the Trump campaign so as to keep him on the ballot. So he's trying to take advantage also of the situation. But we'll see what happens before January 5. He has to January 4 to uh, see the appeal through. January 5 is the deadline uh, for the nominations. Will other states follow suit? I doubt. Yes, talking about other states, you had mentioned uh, Michigan, Arizona as well, New Hampshire, other states in the U.S. who are also looking to exclude former President Donald Trump from the ballots come 2024. However, as um, already been mentioned, a few political slants to this ruling, uh, bearing in mind that uh, Colorado in itself has not given the Republicans their votes, at least in the last election. Uh, President Joe Biden won with double digits. So President for, Donald Trump wasn't likely to win in Colorado anyway. However, he does put a, um, a little dent in his efforts to be emerging as the next president of the United States come 2024 elections. Uh, what we'll wait to see would be if the U.S. Supreme Court would uphold this ruling or perhaps overturn the ruling. Don't forget, the lower court had, um, had in Colorado, I must mention, had um, indicted or um, said that Trump was um, instrumental to the insurrection at the Capitol. So a few things there. But one thing I must say is that perhaps rather than these controversies and court rulings making um, 
Trump look like the villain. He almost has been praised as the hero, especially the spin put on it by the Republicans. Um, Steve Chung, his uh, campaign spokesperson, had said that, oh, we must fight this, that this is Colorado trying to stop Trump from emerging as president. And so even informing perhaps deeper loyalty from his followership base. And we have seen that reflected in the numbers through opinion polls and popularity polls where Trump has emerged as a front runner. It is an interesting, dramatic election we are looking forward to in the United States of America come next year uh, between what it looks like, President Donald Trump with the, as the Republican flag bearer and President Joe Biden as the Democratic flag bearer. We will see how that works, how that pans out. But again, only a few more days to January 5 to see if this will be substantive.